Hello, in this video I will show you how to crop a picture into a shapes. So there are three different ways. The first way, let me open a new blank page. So the first way you in, insert uh, shapes. The second way is you insert uh, icons and convert it to shapes. And the third way is uh, you insert a, a PNG picture, then using uh, online tools to convert to SVG format, then you crop the picture. So first, let me show you how to use the shapes. For example, if you insert hearts, then when you select the hearts, you go to the shape format. Let's select no outlines. And the shape fills. You select the picture. So I will I already have uh, water red and green and this uh, PNG format picture. So this time I will select the water. So it will crop picture into a shapes. OK. So how about we, because the shapes, they only have these options. But icons, they have more options. For example, We can select any icons. Let's use uh, this one. Insert. So after we insert icons, we can see it is graphic format. But if we convert it to shapes, then go back to format, shape format, shape fill, insert picture. It will like this. <coughs> so how about uh, we have a PNG format picture. If we want crop picture into these shapes, what you can do is uh, you need a search PNG to SVG. There are lots of online free tools. For example, this one. You choose a file. Uh, some file, what I have is the face. Okay. After we upload it, we generate uh, SVG format. Then we download it. So it is under the download folder. Now let's uh, insert a new slides. We insert the picture first. So that's the one we just uh, convert to SVG format. We have the picture here. It is uh, SVG format. Then you can convert to shapes. If you see insert a, a PNG format, it won't have option to convert to uh, shapes. So now we have uh, 
convert to a shape format. Then we go back to the shape and we can we can fill the picture. Okay. Now it's like this. Okay, so basically, if you insert a shape, you can crop the picture directly. Otherwise, you need uh, you need the option to convert to shape, and then you fill the picture inside the shapes. Okay, so hope you enjoy this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.